it's Planet Hammies here today, and today's video is going to be about my hamster's diets. I have one female winter white hybrid and one male long-haired Syrian. Alright, so in the first container here, we have VitaCraft, Vita Smart, and Hazel Hamster Mix. Um, I really like this blend because it gives my hamster enough protein and it gives my hamster enough moisture and fiber content as well as fat, fat content. And I really like it and it has this um, this like little edge right there that you can hold it from and the top is really airtight so I like that. And um, also I have this little measuring spoon and this is just one little teaspoon and I get two scoops of that and it's pretty much enough for my hamsters, they really like that. And then here I have my female's little um, dish. It's red and it's really cute. It makes me think of the forest and since it's summer now, I thought I should add that in. It's really, really cute. And um, it's also pretty deep so that no bedding gets kicked in it. And I really like this. I also have the same one for my Syrian hamster, but it is in a different color. Um, so let's get started. I'm just going to grab two scoops out of here. Um, okay, and then I'm going to put them in. That's my first scoop. And I'm going to grab my second scoop out again. I do give them two scoops each. Alright, so this is what her scoop, both of their scoops, um, look like so far. And the next thing I do is I always check. I have to see all the things that I want in there are in there. So first of all, I always check to see this if they have this hazel hamster piece. Either a crescent or a circle works. There we go. There's an autofocus. All right. So that's what I have to have in there for them. One of those. And then one of the um, green VitaCraft VitaSmart little pellets. It's actually really small compared to the other hazel hamster pellet, as you can see here. It's really small. Um, and then next... We have this like VitaCraft VitaSmart heart pellet I have to have in there. It's kind of a deformed heart. And then next we have this um, small hazel hamster piece. It's from the hazel hamster selection. It's like a small version of the circle. As you can see here again, it's a small version. So one of those in there. Um, next I have the like mustardy color, yellowish color star from Vitacraft Vita Smart, And one of those gets put in there as well. And then um, after that, I have just like all of my pieces here. My four pieces that I always make sure to have in there. And after that, I do take out all the remaining corn, smash corn, and smash peas, and also the peanuts and the pumpkin seeds. In the VitaCraft Vita Smart selection, it's a little bit hard to tell what the peanuts look like because they kind of look like oats. But if it looks like a peanut, I'll take it out. And so I'll show you in a second here what all that stuff that I just took out and what it looks like. And I'm not sure what that is. So there it all is. And I do keep this somewhere safe because I'm going to need it again for my long-haired Syrian. Um, I use this put to put in um, his meal because he is not prone to diabetes and she is so that's what I do there um, and also as you can see here there is a lot of sugar in these um, so that's why you don't alright so the next item here is um, Oxbow Essentials Healthy Handfuls for gerbils and hamsters I really love this blend because it's a great variety of different types of like hay material and they're very nutritious for your hamster, actually. They just can't be um, alone and their only thing in their diet. So I just give them, give each of them two of these little rings. Um, like I said, I really do love these because they are great add-ins. I don't use these as these muesli mix, um, but I do use these as add-ins. So here they are. I'm going to just put two in their bowl right now. Okay, so the last piece of dry food that I give them in their dish. Now, I do not give this um, these two things in their dish every day. I do it about twice a week, three times a week, and that's it. So the first container here, we have um, flax seeds and oats mixed together. I like to mix them together because they both get, whenever they get oats and flax seeds, they get them together. 
and they don't get out on separate days, so I just keep them together and it saves space. Um, so here's what the oats look like if my camera will autofocus. And we'll wait for that to happen. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay, went back. Oh well. So I think you know what oats look like. So that's what the oats um, look like. And now you see this teeny little flax seed here. Um, it's trying to autofocus. Hold on. Alright, well anyways, it's really small and it's brown. And it's teeny, teeny, itty bitty. And I do a pinch of that mixed with a pinch of um, oats. So one pinch of both of those. Alright. And then, um, so yeah, that's just, just what the pinch looks like. And there's a little flax seed at the end. So I'll just sprinkle that in her bowl. Now this is her bowl. This is Remy's dish. But they both have the same thing in their bowl. Alright, so next we have the raw sunflower seeds. And I usually give these as treats. Um, uh, so I, you'll be, you will be seeing in my future videos um, these treats given to my hamsters because they really do love them. Especially Remy. And I just usually give a few of those. I'm going to give her three today. I think it's easier for them to eat so they don't have to crack the shell open. But this is what's inside the shell, so don't worry. They are regular sunflower seeds, and they're all raw. They're not roasted or unsalted. So I'll just give her that. There we go. Alright, so that was it for her dry food. Alright, so lastly, she gets her wet food every night. They both get their wet food, actually. Um, here we have a little piece of ham, actually. A little piece and then shredded up. So that's what the ham looks like. This is her... Um, protein and meat for the night. This is both of their protein and meat for the night. I keep on saying her and she. Sorry about that. I do mean both my hamsters. And there it is again. Alright, then I also incorporate a little bit of spinach. Um, they do like spinach. It's one of their favorite vegetables to eat. So I did incorporate a lot of spinach in their diet tonight. So this is the wet food that she's getting right now. I'll let you take a look at that. So I'm just going to put this in their dish, and that gives them a really good variety. Um, I don't know, some people like to put their wet food, like, in, meaning, like, their meat and protein and, like, veggies and stuff, in a different dish than their regular dish. I mean, I don't see a problem with it, but I do like to keep it all in one dish because they do, um, I mean, in the wild, I don't think that they separate their food. I mean, they all kind of just eat it and stuff it in their face. So I do do that, and I just keep it all in one dish. Looks like here, just all in one little dish. And that's basically it for um, her wet food. And she does get a variety of different wet food every night. And <laughs> I'm saying her again. Sorry, I mean both of my hamsters. So that's what that looks like. Some days I'll give her turkey. Some days I'll give her ground beef. Some days I'll give her romaine. Stuff like that. So that's it. Alright, lastly, I did forget to mention one thing that you guys are probably wondering about. I do have Cheerios in um, both of their diets. I know that one of my hamsters is prone to diabetes, um, so this is very sugar filled and I don't give this to her as often. This is mainly my Syrian treat because he loves these so much. So I just keep it in one of these containers because I figure I always need to have them on me at all times and I'll just get one out for you. So this is what they look like. They just look like tiny little Cheerios. I'm sure Abby once had his Cheerios before because they are human food. They are perfectly safe for hamsters. I don't recommend them as a daily treat. I do not give these as a daily treat every single day. I'll probably give them twice a week. And then my um, dwarf hamster Remy, she will only get half of this twice a week. So she'll get one full Cheerio a week. Um, so these are very nice treats. I really love to give them because they're, they're they're really cute and they're tasty and I actually like to eat them myself as I'm, if I'm a little hungry. Um, so I do put those in there. And that's that's it for the, um, the whole daily routine of food. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope this helped. Please don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!